The intruder didn't just kill his victims with an axe blow to the head. It turned out that he stayed in the house for a while after the murders. After murdering Josiah, the intruder returned to his body and dealt 30 more blows to the head with the blunt side of the axe. He'd hit Josiah so many times that his eyes had turned to liquid in the mix of bone and brain matter. The murderer had swung with such force that the sharp end of the axe had been gouged into the bedroom ceiling above. He then proceeded to do this with every other victim throughout that entire night until their heads were completely annihilated. It seemed like the killings might have been a part of some ritual. He then held a strange kind of funeral ceremony where he placed bedsheets over some of the victims' bodies and the rest he covered with spare clothes. He then covered every reflective surface he could find in the house. All the mirrors and glass furniture were draped with bedsheets or clothing. Police also figured that the murky bowl of water that was found in the kitchen was used to clean the murderer's hands. 